Hi, this is Michael's Bad Stuff, and today I have a um, Jack Specific Big Figs. It's um, this uses Big Figs Evolution Batman Rebirth. Like I said, uh, I've, I know I've said this before, but it's you know, one of my new favorite designs, yeah, the emblem and whatnot. But anyway, uh, this is the Jack Specific Big Figs for Batman Rebirth. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see here, the, uh, the picture on the front is from the new 52, which I am very thankful that is not the design on the, on the character itself, on the uh, figure. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look here. As I said, there's the um, front of the box. As you can see here, it says 23 points of articulation. There, of course, up at the top is the Batman logo, and uh, we've got the side of the box here, which, again, has that new 52 design. I don't understand why, but um, on the back of the box here, we can see the uh, pose you can set it up. It has 23 points of articulation, as we stated before, so it has a wide variety of poses, I'm sure. And uh, one of the things I find interesting about it is they say here the comic book styling, the um, the paint on the on the figure itself, the artwork, made it like shading from a comic book, and um, that's kind of interesting. It gives it some sort of character, and that character would be Batman. Anyway, let's take him out of here and see what we got. Set that aside there, try not to sit in any bird poop. So there we have him almost out of the box. And um, I don't know if you can see, but up here in the corner, we have the Batarangs. And as I've said before, I never really worry about the accessories. So let's just see if we can get him out of here. There he is. Okay, so he stands up quite nicely right out of the box. Just the cape here. Let's take a look at these uh, points of articulation that we have here. Get some of this garbage out of the way so it doesn't go blowing all over the place. So here, of course, we have the... Uh, Head and neck movement. It's quite nice. Very little up and down movement, but side to side is decent. Arm rotation. It's full 360, both sides, I'm sure. 
Maybe we can skimp out on that one. We have a twisting of the bicep up there. It's kind of interesting. Put them in all kinds of positions. These are awesome. Very flexible. There's the waist movement. And of course, no, no ab crunch, but you can bend forward. We've got the um, the movement isn't too bad. Well, going back, it's restricted, but coming forward, eh, still kind of restricted. Can't kick out very far. His career with the Rockets isn't going to go anywhere. But, um, let's see here, the knee movement. Ooh, that's nice. Really get some good movement out of the leg there. foot is rather interesting. It has a, you can flex the toes, so you can put them in a walking position. That's nice. The utility belt. It just looks like a banded belt. I, there's no real definition on it. Nothing showing any type of like compartment or anything like that. So I'm not really a big fan of that. So uh, let's take a look here. The cape is just the, um, the generic material they use on most of the figures now. It's not a rubberized plastic or anything of that sort. So it does flow rather nicely in the wind as you've been seeing with this. So um, right here, the, um, the symbol on this is really kind of cool because it's actually raised off the chest. It's kind of, it's not just painted on there. It's really kind of interesting. So anyway, here we have the Batman Rebirth Jack Pacific Big Fig. Once again, I really like this uh, this design. I really kind of dig the figure. It's really neat, actually. So. Um, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please come back and check for more as I hopefully will be pulling more items out of my collection to throw up here. So I um, hope you had a good time and uh, please have a great day.